Welcome to your, uh, I don't even remember anymore, but some number Premiere Pro tutorial. It's been a long time since I've been one of these, but today it's going to be focused on one thing. Cross dissolves are your friend. Please, please, please use cross dissolves. Let me go into depth here. So, got some footage. Oh, I got the wrong sequence setting. That's really nice. Actually, if you drag in a file and it says you get the wrong sequence setting, let it change change it for you. Because I do a lot of different settings and I leave it at default a lot, so whatever. So let's say I wanted to go from, see there to here. And I see so many people that just put it back to back. And if you'll watch right here. It's loading. Okay. I don't it didn't even catch the cut. <laughs> Let me see if I can catch it this time. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can kind of see it here, but it just jumps straight to it. Now let's find cross dissolve. And, uh, that's weird. Okay, yeah, so it put it in anyways. So now, let me see, let's watch it again, see if you can see the difference. You may not be able to. Okay, so you can see how it kind of faded in. So that's that's actually pretty good. But another thing I want to show you all before I end this tutorial is bins. So say you have the same tutorial, uh, same effects all the time. You create a new bin. Let's see, I thought you could name these. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you can name them. I can, I can make a bin for my tutorials. And then here, I could have a, have a cross dissolve inside there. Now it's not, it's just like, almost like a shortcut. Yeah, so now we see, you can see the little shortcut icon. But it's almost like a shortcut. And then let's see, let's add some other transitions, cross zoom, that's kind of nice. And you just drag it in there, and then you have cross zoom. So if you know you're going to use the same one over and over, and you don't remember the name of it, you can just go to this one folder, and okay, you got the ones you need. Alright guys, I think that's all there is for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you liked, please give it a like and consider subscribing.